In a previous video, I showed you how to position things using HTML by typing in the HTML and by wrapping your content in divs. This video is going to be for showing you how to do all that using the user interface. I'm also going to show you how to embed a YouTube video, which can apply to any other content that is embeddable. So here's what we do. We already have a div for photo and a div for navigation and several others. Let's go ahead and create styles for those divs, which is what we did before. We just opened up the style sheet and started typing, right? We did pound photo and then gave it some, some code. What I'm going to do instead is create this in the user interface. Let's do that. So new style, and it's the same name. It's pound header or pound photo. Let's start with photo. We're going to make sure to create this in an existing style sheet, which is style CSS. If yours doesn't show up, it's probably just in a list here, or you can go browse for it. I'm going to go straight to positioning and make sure this one is absolute. We want it a little bit from the top, about 10 pixels from the top, and about 10 pixels from the left. And that's about it. Hit OK. Let's go create another style, one for our header, pound header. Again, in the current pa uh, not in the current page, we want it in an existing style sheet, style CSS. Position, absolute, don't forget that. And we want the header to start on the right side of the picture. So that would be right, 145. That's the width of the picture, which is 125, plus 10 on each side. We also want it 10 from the top. And we want to have a height of the same as the picture, about 175. And we want it to be a little bit from the right. Oh, I said 145 from the right. It's actually got to be 145 from the left. And I want it 10 from the right. So span all the way across except 10 pixels along the right side. Hit OK. Let's create one for, let's see, navigation. If I can spell it, navigation. Again, in existing style sheet, style CSS, position, Positioning is absolute, and I would like this to be the width of the picture, which is 175. And I want it to be from the bottom, 10 pixels. So go all the way down to the bottom except 10 pixels. I want it to be from the left, 10 pixels. And I want it to be from the top, the height of the picture. Oh, which was 175. Whoops. Plus 10 plus 10 is 195. And that means the width is not 175, it's 125, same as the picture. There we go. Hit OK. And we need to do one more for the main body. New style. Pound new, or not new, main body. In existing style sheet. Position, absolute. The main body is going to be from the right. 10 pixels. From the bottom, 10 pixels. From the top, it's 195 because it's going to be the height of the picture plus 20 plus 20. And then we would like the width, height, that's all set. Left from the left, we want it to be the width of the picture plus 10 plus 10 is 145. And I think that should do it. And now what we'll do is we'll go back, we'll save this. Notice it created all of them right here. We'll go to the resume and we'll save it, and we'll hit F12. And now look, it's sort of separated out into areas. It's hard to tell where all those different divs are. Let's go get them some background color. To do that, I'm just going to click here, or right click it, and modify style. Let's give it a background color. Background, color, more colors. Let's do something a little more subtle than anything there. Just a very, very slight blue. Move that up a little bit. There we go. OK. And hit OK. Notice it turned blue. Let's do our, what's that? Uh, that was our header. Let's do navigation. Modify style. I want to check on position real quick. It looks like from the bottom, 10, good. OK, background. We want the color, more colors. Let's make it something obscene. Nice and yellow or something. Hit OK. And for the body, 
modify style. Let's make it stand out, not because that's cool, but just to prove a point. I'll make it gray. Hit OK. Hit F12. Save the style sheet, yes. And now you can see those borders. They're all shifted. Uh, they're all spaced nicely. One issue, though, is we have this text right up against the edge of this div area, this frame. Let's create some padding around the text. So to do that, probably the easiest way is actually just to go straight into the styles and just start typing. So for the header, we'd like it to have a little bit of padding. Padding. And I'd like to have 10 px for padding. And I'm just going to copy that. Control C and give it to also my navigation area and my main body. Does it matter where in here you stick it? Not really. Hit Control S and yeah, let's go refresh that. F5. And notice it all shifts uh, away from the edge. But also notice that there's no longer a distinction, there's no longer a, a white buffer between those divs because the padding gets colored by a background color. So if I want to um, shift the main body away from the header and the navigation area, I need to shift it to the right and down a little bit. Let me do that really quick. So for main body, instead of starting from the let's see, instead of starting from the left 145, I'm going to make it 165. And instead of starting from the top 195, I'm going to make it 205, or 210, 215, there we go, 215, if I can type, control S, let's see if that does it or if it's too much, no, that's just about right, notice there's this cool overlap, how do we know what, which one is going to overlap the other? Right now, the navigation is overlapping the header. We can specify which one we want to overlap by saying by giving it a Z. So if we want navigation to be on top, we'll give it a Z index of something higher than the header. Right now it is higher, but let's, let's just give it a one semicolon, and let's go give header a Z index of two. So this should put the header on top, whereas right now the navigation is on top. So here we are. Head, uh, navigation's on top. If I hit refresh, now you'll see the header's on top. That's what a z-index does. All right, last but definitely not least, this is pretty fun. I'm going to go to my interest page, and I want to embed a YouTube video. Right here, right after I say, uh, let's see, I was on Oprah with my daughter Lily, I'd like to embed a video. How do I do that? I'm going to say iframe, oops, open this up, iframe, and source equals pick URL. Oh, I better go find that URL. All right, let's see. YouTube Lily on Oprah. However you spell that. Lily on Oprah. Here it is. Let me click on that. And every YouTube video and many other things on the internet have the opportunity to share and embed. And here's the code for embedding. Now, you can also just copy the URL, which is what I'm going to do, copy the URL, and stick it in this iframe. And hit OK. And then let me close the iframe. There we go. I think perhaps we should also BR this. BR, so it doesn't get overlapped with anything. Control S. You see it's trying to get it. That might actually take a second. There we go. It sort of got it. Let me hit F12. And here is a failed attempt at embedding a video. Ha! <laughs> Why didn't that work? Okay, I figured it out. The reason is because I wasn't using the embedded URL, I was using the uh, straight URL. So the embed URL actually has this word embed in it. Let me copy that. www. Control C, take that over, and replace this www. with that. Control V. There we go, and now click down here. It's going to try to get it. It got it. Let me F12. See if it worked. There it is. Now I can watch this video on my page. Pretty cool.
And that's all I have for you.